All right, Rob Breckenridge, Roger Kincaid. I recall going back to grade one at Capilano Elementary School in Edmonton, Alberta, we would uh, say the Lord's Prayer every morning. And then once I got to grade two, grade three, that, that stopped. So I don't know what changed around then. It was uh, early 80s. So it once was much more common in Alberta, but uh, for the most part, it's certainly in Edmonton and Calgary, most public schools, that's, that's not even an issue. Right. Hey, not to be a one-upper, but I did it in French. Oh, en français. Ouais. Notre Père, qui est au ciel. That's all I remember at this very <laughs> moment in time. <laughs> so, uh, look, I mean, the Lord's Prayer is, is a very Christian prayer. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, we all concede that. It's not like this debate about prayer at city council where maybe it's generic or it's a moment of silence. I mean, this is a very explicitly Christian prayer. Well, well, listen, let's be frank. This is how Jesus taught his followers to pray. Right. 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 This isn't this isn't just something that they came up with later on in the church. This isn't like the the Apostles Creed or something like that. This is Christ responding to a question. Hey, how should we pray when we pray? He said, well, you pray like this. Our father. Right. Did you say Apollo Creed? Yeah, up the Apollo's Creed, yeah. Apollo Creed. I definitely said the Apostles' Creed. <laughs> That's the difference between a Catholic and a Rocky fan. Right. You heard me differently there. Yeah. Okay, so the story's come up before, and in a few places. One of them is Tabor, Alberta. A couple of years ago, uh, the story came to light because uh, a mom in Tabor went public and said, not only are, is, is my kid's school forcing the kids to say the Lord's Prayer every day, my kid was punished, came home with tears, because she didn't say the Lord's Prayer. Now, again, this is not a religious school. This is a public school. And uh, so this school removed the prayer, studied it for a while, and very quietly, just recently, brought the prayer back. The Lord's Prayer is once again part of the daily ritual at Dr. Haman School in Tabor, Alberta. Joining us for some thoughts is someone who, who dealt with this himself, the Sturgeon uh, School Division near near Edmonton, Luke Feather, and he's uh, also with uh, A Pupil, Alberta Parents for Unbiased Public Inclusive Learning. Luke, thanks for making some time for us here. Good morning, gents. All right. Are you surprised uh, at, at what's unfolded in Tabor? Uh, I, I should be surprised, but I'm not. Uh, we've seen this before, and as you uh, as you correctly say, this is uh, this goes on all over Alberta, and it goes on an awful lot more than than anybody realizes. Uh, and sadly, we we keep coming back to this 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 crazy situation where people believe that they can vote on uh, the rights of other people, that they can actually vote away uh, the rights of other people. So that's what's happened here. Is uh, you know, the, the majority have decided that they would like their privilege. Uh, the fact that it denies the rights of their neighbors is irrelevant um, and uh, would like to do it. Thank you very much. So we're going to do it. Well, Luke, there's a lot of people who say that this uh, is, is instilling values in children in Alberta. Um, what's your argument against a statement like that? <laughs> well, funnily enough, um, when this issue came up from my family right at the beginning, five years ago, um, the same argument was made. This is where we get our values from. Uh, And my question to the room was, what values do you have that I don't? And the the room went very quiet um, because the only value that is different between uh, a non-believer and a believer, for the most part, uh, is the belief itself. Um, you know, uh, uh, five years ago when we did this, we were looking for an alternative to the Lord's Prayer, and we said, well, let's, you know, what are those values? Let's put those into uh, a school mantra. Let's create a school mantra with all those important values, and uh, and let's do that. Um, and uh, And that wasn't an acceptable way forward, because the truth is that it's actually the belief that itself that is the important part. Now, the school is trying to portray this as, as a compromise, that no one's going to be punished for not participating. No one's going to be forced to participate. Children can leave the room during the prayer, or they can even stay in. in-